Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't uploaded on here in a really, really long time. But today, in this video of Life Made Easy, it's kind of crazy, I'm actually back filming a video. Um, but today, I have OBS open, kind of looks weird on screen, but I'm going to be showing you how to fix this issue with bitrate and your stream coming out pretty laggy. Uh, so I've had my fair share of streaming with OBS and having games going on in the background on my PC as well. And during sort of times of a lot of movement and a lot of details in whatever game you're playing with a lot of texture in the background you can you could sometimes notice um, during your stream it'll get a lot really blurry when you're quickly moving especially if you're running a game at a really high frame rate uh, so in this video I'm gonna be basically showing you some of the tips and tricks on how to sort of like fix that issue um, so the clarity kind of like sustains itself without sacrificing too much quality in your in your stream basically so we're in OBS um, this is gonna be in settings we're gonna click settings here uh, we're gonna start start out on basically video so the biggest thing here just so we don't utilize too much of our CPU while we're streaming too much power basic essentially what we're going to be doing is the output resolution. We want to change this to 720p. Now, I can't do this, obviously, because I'm recording. But I have mine set to 1080 just because I'm recording. But if you're live streaming, set your output resolution to 720p or even 900p. Just downscale the resolution, basically, so you're not, you're not having to pump out as much detail over your internet connection. Essentially, the main reason why your stream is looking blurry, it's not necessarily to do with, or it's less to do with the overall, like, power of your computer. It's more to do with your overall internet connection. So if you're uploading less data to YouTube or Twitch like that, then the overall quality is going to maintain, um, if that makes sense. It's going to maintain itself a little better, as opposed to you pumping out 8K footage streaming which is borderline impossible um that requires a very very fast internet connection and if you don't downscaling it to 720p can uh can help with that so yeah i would recommend downscaling output scaled resolution 720p while remain while keeping the base canvas resolution to 1080 and then for the downscale filter i would maintain the highest one just so you retain as much sharpness as possible um, and then for FPS, it depends on the game you're streaming. If it's like a, if it's a game like I'd say Overwatch or something that looks really good, or even Apex or Fortnite, something that looks really good at 60 FPS, and you want it to look smooth, then keep it at 60 FPS and downscale the resolution. You can also go the other other route where you can maintain a 1080p resolution output while streaming, but you can down or not down skill you can reduce your frames per second to maybe like 30 fps 30 fps isn't that bad especially for watching gaming but if it's a game like i said overwatch or fortnite that looks really good in 60 fps then make sure to prioritize frame rate over over your resolution um so if you come over to output i am streaming with not NVENC, I don't have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, I have AMD, so I'm using a hardware AMD encoder uh, to take less stress off my, to take some stress off my CPU. If you do, you have to have a really good CPU if you want to stream with uh, X64, but I'm doing it with my graphics card because I, I have a good CPU, it's just I don't want to put all the stress on it while I'm, while I'm streaming, especially since I'm playing the game actually on my computer. Um, so for video bitrate, this is where you want to crank it up. This is, this is basically how much data you're uploading to the internet, uh, per second. So 4,500, I think is the sweet spot. I think that might be what Twitch caps you at, or Twitch might cap you, cap you at 6,500. But I think 4,500 is a solid value, 35 to 45, depending on your internet speed. Twitch also has like a whole chart with like frame rate and resolution and the proper bit rate to go with each. So I don't know where that is, but I think it's on Twitch's website. Um, so 4,500, and if you have some wiggle room, if you really stable PC and internet connection, you could probably bump this up even more and 
have your streams looking even more smooth. Um, so this is definitely something I'm still working on and tweaking with my live streams if I'm streaming on my PC. Uh, so those are the biggest tips I have for you in this video. Um, so hopefully what I said made sense. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Um, if you did, make sure to like, subscribe. Haven't uploaded on Life Media in so long, but I'm at like 46,000 subs or something crazy right now. So, um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening to this video. I also have several other YouTube channels linked in the description. I have a new math channel that I just uh, started. It's called Math Made Easy. So it goes along with the whole Life Made Easy brand. Um, took a short hiatus on my podcast update there. Haven't had the time to really pump out as much quality content on there. So I had to put that on pause. And yeah, with that, I guess the next big milestone on this channel is 50k which is kind of nuts um so hopefully we can get there subscribe if you're new watching this and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye life made easy peace out everyone